Hi there, my name is Aaron Landerman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and in this video, I'm going to install magic. No, not that magic, and definitely not that magic. I'm going to be installing the Magic VLSI design software. I first encountered magic when I took a class on digital VLSI design from Bob Morley in the early 1990s at Washington University when I was an undergraduate there, although my current interest is in analog VLSI design. If I remember correctly, we ran magic on Sun workstations. Nowadays, people who use it tend to use Linux. Here I'm going to try installing it on my Mac. I'm also going to install Xchem. People call this Xscheme. I like to call it Xchem because I like to say schematic. I guess other people say schematic. Anyway, as we'll see, installing it on macOS presents some difficulties. You can get information about these programs from this Open Circuit Design website, and this is associated with a company called eFabless. So in my home directory, I'm going to make a directory called OCD. That stands for Open Circuit Design, not the usual thing OCD stands for. So let's go into that directory. Let's click the magic button on the website. Oh, that looks pretty cool. So the current version is 8.2. Wow, that looks awesome. All right, so let's go to the download section and let's go to the Git repository. Let's see, git clone, git opencircuitdesign.com.magic. So I'll copy that and we'll clone that into our OCD directory. And the other piece of software that we want is the Xchem package. So let's go to Xchem. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Xcircuit is here. Xchem is elsewhere. So let's look up Xchem. Xchem schematic circuit editor. Let's see. It's on SourceForge, but nobody wants that. Let's go to the GitHub and we can copy the address here. All right. So let's say clone. No, wait, sorry. Git clone that address. Do, 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 do. There we go. So both programs have readme files associated with compiling for the Macintosh. Unfortunately, they didn't really quite work for me as written. So I had to sort of combine the instructions from both of them and play around a bit in order to get things to install. The main underlying issue is that both programs rely on TCLTK. And although I think TCLTK is built into macOS, we need a special version of TCLTK compiled against the XQuartz library. If you do a lot of this sort of stuff, you probably already have XQuartz installed. But if not, you just go to www.xquartz.org and there's a nice installer that you can download and install in the usual way without having to deal with make files or anything terribly fancy. I should also mention that I'm assuming you have the Xcode command line tools already installed. It looks like if you don't, you can type xcode-select-install at the command line. So it looks like we need to download the source code for TCL and TK from SourceForge. You could use your browser to do that, but I'm just going to use wget from the terminal. So wget that. All right, and then let's wget the other thing. So I already got TCL, let's get TK. And now let's just g unzip everything. So the build instructions for Magic tell you to choose a directory that has opt2 here instead of the usual opt. This is to make sure that this doesn't overwrite any built-in TCL TK installations you have. And it tells you to run .configure and then make and make install. But if you go into the TCL directory, so let's cd TCL 8.6.10, we see that I have to choose some directories to do this in. And you would think that you could just go to the Mac OS X directory and do all of that stuff. And it sort of half works. It looks like it compiles and it sort of makes some executables in a local build directory. And I think it even puts some library kind of things in some various places, but it doesn't look like it actually puts things in this user local op2 directory. And the main clue came from looking at the macOS installation instructions for Xchem. I noticed that 
it tells you to go into the Unix folder, not the macOS folder. Of course, macOS is based on Unix, so whatever. Anyway, if we go into the Unix folder, this seems to actually work. So I'm going to leave the macOS X folder and go into the Unix folder and we'll run these various configure lines. So let's see, we want to run this configure line. And now let's type make. And now let's try make install. Wait, we need to do sudo make install. And hopefully that worked. Let's see, if we go check out this directory, do we see things? Let's type ls that directory. Ah, there's stuff in there. Okay, so now we need to do the same thing for tk. The configure line for that is more complicated. Let's copy all of that. You can see there's these references to the x11 libraries. All right, so let's go up, go up. Let's go to tk 8.6.10. And for parity, let's not go into the Mac OS X folder. Let's go into the Unix folder and we'll try that configure line. Uh, okay, you're not gonna believe this. It's not mentioned in the macOS build instructions for Magic, but if we go to Xchem, which note, I'm not actually compiling yet, there's a mention that there's apparently a bug in the make file for TK. So we need to check out the make file and make sure this lib runtime dir equals this dollar sign lib dir. Okay, so let's go back in here. Can't believe this. Well, I guess I can believe this. Let's see, let's go to the TK folder and let's go to Unix because that's what we're doing. Let's look at the make file and let's search for, what is it that we're searching for? Let's see, we're searching for lib runtime dir. Lib, oh, yep, look at this. There's all this extra junk here with this colon. That's what's confusing it. So let's get rid of that. Save this. All right. All right. Now let's try make. So I'm making TK. Pseudo make install. All righty. So it looks like we have some things installed. Let's go take a look. Yep, I see stuff for TCL and stuff for TK. Let me go back to my working directory here. All right, we can finally try installing Magic. So let's go into the Magic directory. And let's see. So we need to run this massive configure line that tells it to look for the appropriate TCL TK libraries and ignore some compilation errors. And then we'll type make and see what happens. Oh, and we do hit an error. So there's this problem with this lib comma dot o needed by TCL magic. So let's go back a little bit and see what the problem is. Actually, a trick that sometimes works is to just run make again and it will focus in on the error. All right, so let's see. Oh, does not like this comma write dot c routine. Non void function should return a value. Okay, so let's figure out where comma write dot c is. Let's see, line 2911. So probably is in comma code comma write dot c. Let's see, what line was that? 2911. All right, so let's go to line 2911. Oh, yep. There's a return here, but the function returns an int. Let's see if there's other places that it returns. Ah, look here. Down here, it returns a zero. Up here, it does not return a zero. So to get this to compile, it looks like we'll need to put a zero here. All right, that was fun. All right, let's go back up and let's try make again. And was it happy? I think it was happy. Let's do sudo make install. And now let's try magic. And oh, look at this. All right, so I think for any of this to be meaningful, we need to load in a technology file. 
So let's see, where were those at? Okay, let's look in our magic directory. How about Essimos? Uh, let's see, I think we could do something like magic dash capital T Essimos tech. Let's see what comes up if I do that. Ah, okay. You'll see on the right here a bunch of different various patterns indicating various kinds of doodads you can put on the IC. And I don't think you can change technology files in midstream. I think you have to stop and restart. How about, let's go old school in Moz Tech. Okay, so here's a more restricted set for an older in Moz process. Anyway, there you go. It looks like we have magic running. Okay, that was a pain. Having to modify make files is one thing, but having to go in and actually change the code itself is something else, even though it was just one line. If I was more well-versed in the ways of GitHub, I would submit a pull request. Okay, so I also promised that I would install Xgem. So let's take a look at the readme file for Mac OS installation. We already installed TCLTK. It uses the same structure there that Magic did. So hopefully all we need to do is run this stuff. So here's the configure line. All right, so let me copy the configure line. And let's see, where should we put it actually? I'm gonna put it in opt local because I already have opt local bin in my path. All right, and then it says that before we compile, we need to change makefile.conf to include these lines. All right, so let me copy these lines here and we'll type code makefile.conf or, you know, code Emacs, whatever your personal editor is, if you're one of these people who uses Vim. All right, so let me paste that in here. The other thing we need to be careful with is I've installed TCLTK in user local opt2. So let's put in user local opt2. The X11 libraries stay the same. Okay, I edited out a bunch of stuff. Basically, now when I run it, I get this error. It looks a little something like this. And when I Google search on this error, I found the error is very much addressed. Somebody basically got the same error. But the problem is, is when I applied the fix, which is basically to change the make file. Let's see, where is that? Let's scroll down, 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 down. Ah, to change this fix to the make file. Well, I already made that change to the make file, and I confirmed that. And I'm still getting the error. And something else weird is happening because I tried redoing basically everything, but installing everything in an opt4 directory. But yet somehow an opt2 is still showing up, even though I don't have any opt2s in any of the new configs I did. I was doing everything with opt3 and then opt4. And now I'm wondering why is opt2 still showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go scorched earth. I'm going to make a new directory. Let's see, what did we call it? We called it OCD. I'm going to call it OCD5. And I'm going to basically just start everything from scratch, putting everything into an opt5 directory. And I'm actually going to do this on camera just so if I make a mistake, hopefully one of you can spot where my mistake is. All right, so we're doing everything from scratch here. All right, build instructions. All right, so we need to build all of these various things. Okay, so I'm going to w get everything here again. w get tcl. I'm going to w get tk. Again, I'm doing everything here from scratch. All right, let me now go into the Unix folder in TCL. So let's go into TCL. Uh, actually, I need to gnzip everything here. All right, gnzip. Whoop, sorry. All right, tar xvf TCL 8.6, all that stuff. Tar xvf 
XVF, TK, all that stuff. All right, so now I have my directories. Let me go into TCL 8.6.10. Now it's 4.50 in the morning, and if I was saying, I would probably just go to bed, and the answer would probably be obvious in the morning. All right, but I'm not acting sane, so there we go. All right, so let's try that configure line, but now I'm going to put in an opt5. I don't want to have any stuff I previously installed getting in the way. Um, oh, wait, I need to go into the Unix directory. Okay. All right, let's do sudo make install. All right, so hopefully we have TCL installed. Now let's install TK, and here's where I want to be very careful. So let's go into the TK 8.6.10 directory, and we'll go into the Unix directory, and we'll run the configuration line. All right, so here's the configuration line. I'm going to copy that and paste that into the terminal. But I want to make sure that here we're going to use the TCL that is in the opt5 directory and that we're going to put everything into the opt5 directory. All right, so I'm going to run that configuration. Okay, now let's make sure that before we run make, we inspect the make file and do this. This is the thing that somehow isn't taking. I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, so let's check out the make file. Let's find that lib underscore line. There it is, and here's the offending bit. All right, save, 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 save. Okay, and just to make sure that it's not there, let's more the make file. All right, let's see. There it is, lib runtime dir. We took out the offending bit. Whoop. All right, now that we've taken out the offending bit, let's do make, and let's do sudo make install. Okay, let's go up, let's go up, and let's get a fresh clone of xgem. All right, cdxgem, where should we put this? I'm going to put it in a directory in my home directory called xgem suffering. All right, so we've configured, and now we need to edit the make file. Oh, makefile.conf, not the original make file. All right, so we need to replace all of the various stuff here with these flags, but I need to make sure to indicate that our TCL TK is coming from opt5 now. And I just want to make sure there's no opt2 sitting in here. All right. Okay. Let's make sudo make install. All right. Now we should be able to go to my xgem suffering directory. Let's go to bin inside that directory and let's try running it. What is going on? You watched me do this. You watched me type everything. And it's still somehow referencing this opt to. So there's some leftover something somewhere. Is it is there an op2 sitting in one of my um one of my environment variables or something? I don't think so. I'm wondering if maybe an environment variable is set with that op2 in it. Why why is it why is it going to that op2? That doesn't make any sense. All right. Um let's see if I do o tools dash l dot s x s c h e m not o tools o tool that's what i want yeah look at this everything this is this is opt 5 but this is going to some sort of opt 2 
for some insane reason. And again, it really looks like it's using something with a make file where that line hadn't been fixed. Notice there's this opt x11 lib here. But, but again, why is it getting this too? I don't understand what's going on. And let me just really double check. Let me go to that OCD5 directory and let's go to 8.6.10. Let's go to Unix again. And yeah, let's um, open up that make file just to make sure that indeed, yep, yep, see, it doesn't have that X11 stuff there. I took that out, so why is it showing up here? Anyway, I would really like to be able to run XGIM. I've got Magic running, but XGIM isn't running. If anyone has a clue as to what's going on here, again, let's see. If I go to my XGIM suffering directory, and I go to bin, I run xgim. Why is it picking up this op2? I don't understand. If anyone can help, please help. And <laughs> please leave a comment below. Thanks.